Now, to tell us more about the fundraising dinner uh, that we just saw, please welcome a member of our Wesley Congregation Life. Uh, Fussy, it's a delight to have you here on the show. Look, that fundraising dinner not only looked a good deal of fun, I know I was there, it <laughs> was fun. And you're right in saying there was just a bit of food, wasn't yeah, there? Just a little bit. <laughs> tell, me, tell me how it came about. Um, so, you know, with the food preparations, it does, um, you know, take quite quite a bit of time to prepare and to organise. And we're so lucky to and blessed to have many people come and help out um, with our preparations. But for those who don't know, we had four suckling pigs, I think, and we had uh, yes. um, some lamb, and uh, um, and we also had some beef. Um, tell, I mean. You have a, how do you cook things? Just for those of So, um, with our pigs and our lambs, we um, cook them on a spit. Um, you know, my father is a man of many talents and he had actually built his own um, spit roast and we, you know, were lucky enough to also have a mechanic one to help out. So, when we cooked the um, pigs and our lambs, it took about, you know, four hours um, and you're constantly there labouring, turning, making sure it, um, it doesn't burn and, mm, mm, yeah. Mm. But it's also to raise funds, isn't it, for the homeless? It wasn't really just a case of us enjoying a good meal, was it? Mm. Yes, definitely, you know, um, there's a high, ca high case of homelessness out there and um, being our church being in the heart of the city, Yes. you know, it's um, just our... I guess it's our job to uh, work together and um, fundraise and help out our brothers and sisters out there. Mm. And for you, the Christian faith isn't just about believing, it is about doing, isn't it? Yes. Uh, you know, our parents have brought us up to know that in everything that we do and everything that um, we say and give, it's all, you know, for the glory of God. And we're definitely blessed um, because he has given us, you know, many opportunities and blessings in life. Now you've been a, a member of our a 1030 congregation and you help at other gatherings. What what do you particularly enjoy doing? Um, I particularly love singing and being able to um, just give all glory back to God through songs with my siblings. Look, singing is almost uh, second nature to people from Tonga, isn't it? It, <laughs> it goes with the territory, yes, as it were, really, to definitely. sing. I think that's so. I remember when I was in Wales, somebody saying a lot of the people in Wales were from poor backgrounds, you know, mm. and somebody said, why is it you, you all sing? And they said, well, the voice is free. God mm. gave us that voice to sing and we can use it. And I think we've lost that in so many ways. And I'm just delighted it's still important to you. Yeah, definitely. Tell us what you're doing at university. So I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Science, majoring in psychology and hoping to get into the counselling field um, within primary schools or high school. Mm. Well, you're in the right church and mission because we're interested and involved and concerned about the same kind of issues, aren't we? Yes. How, how do, what does that mean to your family? Um, you know, we're very passionate um, about helping our community and, you know, my family and I, we just give back all that we can, um, you know, because of, you know, how much we've been blessed. Mm. But you're also a member of, of a group of, of, of Tongan young people, aren't you? Tell us a bit about that, because uh, I think if people haven't heard you, they would love to. <laughs> well, actually, we're a multicultural um, little youth group that had formed uh, back in 2012. And, you know, we're very blessed to still be together um, you know, we call ourselves sole purpose because we believe it is our sole purpose to go out there and show God's agape love to his community through the, you know, gifts that he has given us. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be involved with us in Easter, aren't you? Yes, we're definitely very excited for Easter Sunday. Um, we'll be gathering together to worship and, um, you know, just to praise our Heavenly Father for the sacrifice that he gave us. And because you're all so beautifully presented and dressed so well, <laughs> you'll not go to bed on the Saturday night. You'll be preparing for that unearthly time when we <laughs> meet together. Look, I'm delighted that you're part of the Wesley Mission family and your own human family, part of our spiritual family together. So thank you so much for what you do and uh, thank you for all those, those pigs and <laughs> all that food that you prepared for us on that special day. God bless you, Fussy. Thank you.